What's up guys, this is Corey Blanc with Blanc Creatives. Uh, today we're going to do a video walkthrough from unboxing, washing, and seasoning a brand new Blanc Creative skillet. Alright, fresh box, let's see what we got. So when you get the package, you open it up, it's all uh, natural, just wood shavings. Feel free, go ahead and compost those, burn them, uh, do whatever you want, but it is all natural, all organic, and compostable. You'll have an order slip, and thank you cards, care cards, and some recipe cards in there. So read through those, check out the recipes, try them out. You also get a Blanc Creatives tote bag. And this is the new uh, Proline 11 inch skillet. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is to give this guy a good wash. At this stage, totally use some soap, use a rag or sponge, nice and clean. And from there, then we'll take it over to the stove. So the first thing we're gonna do is get this guy washed up. Okay, now we're going to take it over to the stove to dry it off. And what I like to do is go ahead, turn the burner on, get it on high. That's going to heat the pan up, evaporate the water. At this point, you want a nice, really dry, clean pan. So as that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and get what I need for the seasoning. For the seasoning, we're going to need, real simple, flaxseed oil and paper towels. Now we're getting ready to season. Basically, you're going to need two things of paper towels and some flaxseed oil. So, first things first, drizzle some flaxseed oil into the pan. Uh, and what we're going to want to do here is... Give this guy a good coat. So if any of you have seen the previous seasoning video that I made, uh, I was continually adding oil as I was heating up the pan. Um, I know several people have had issues with that, with too much oil oil hardening on the pan, not just a thin layer, but really making a nice coated, um, almost enameled looking seasoning. Uh, so we're just going to start off with a little bit of oil. I'm going to show you a way that's pretty much fail proof. So a little bit of oil in the pan. We've wiped it in. I'm going to take the other rag. I'm going to sort of now wipe off the oil. We really want just a light, light coating on this pan. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the stove on. I want to be at like a, a medium to a medium high heat. And this is where it takes a little patience. So what's happening here, we're going to slowly bring up the heat of the pan. Uh, the pan's going to get hot, the oil's going to reach its smoke point and the light coating of oil is essentially going to burn which is going to polymerize and and bond to the to the surface of the pan this whole process will probably take about 10 or 15 minutes you just want to watch it as it goes the pan starts off as this blue gray color what we're looking for is a nice transition in color so starts off blue gray it's going to then get a little ambery looking golden from there it's going to get like a richer brown and then we're going to be almost black so now i'm just going to let this sit and wait you see it's kind of gone from the the bright blue that it was in the beginning starting to get a little bit of an amber tint going on uh, you can tell 
when it's seasoned, what's going to happen is uh, the oil, especially on the sides, those that's what's heating up the last. So on those side walls, you can look at it and tell that it's it still looks a little tacky, basically. Um, and you just want to go just past that point. It'll get more of a matte look instead of like a shiny, uh, liquidy, gooey, tacky appearance to it. I'm just going to take my bit of paper towel again. It's still got a little bit of oil on it. I'm not putting any more oil in the pan. I'm just taking the paper towel that had a little bit of oil from before. Entering into the home stretch here, same thing. Not adding oil, there's just some oil on the paper towel. So nice sort of micro coats of oil. point I've given it probably three or four quick wipes we're almost almost where we want to be so what I'm gonna do now is just let that finish smoking off once that smoke will stops we should be at a nice seasoned pan all right, one quick note about the seasoning. So that's the inside of the pan, that's your cooking surface. You can see on the back, it's still that blue. I've got a couple of spots where the oil ran down in the, in the beginning. Uh, if you want, you can wipe the whole pan and the initial dry off the back really nice. Same thing with the, with the inside cooking surface, but the cooking surface as it's heating up, you'll do a couple of more wipes throughout. Um, also, you can just leave this uncoated with oil. Over time, oil will drip off, it will go around, and it will change. Um, I'll show you a quick. So just for a reference point of view, this is a brand new pan that we seasoned today. The backside's still that blue. This is a pan I've had for a couple of years, pretty much my daily driver. Uh, I've never added oil to the back of it, but as you can see, it's definitely gotten nice and black over time. So that'll, that'll happen eventually, or if you want, if you don't like the look of the different metals, on that first go around, feel free to wipe a nice light coating on. Um, not sure how that's gonna work on an electric stove, but on a gas, it's not so bad. You've got the oil on the bottom where the fire hits it.